Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm here with Tim once again and we are at Cisco and Yellow Cat, a known area for good agates, barite spheres, which sometimes are still barite, sometimes are agatized, and petrified wood. Last time we were here, we're at another spot where we found that it had wood, but the wood wasn't very good. So we're out here at another spot that we found in a geologic study that was done by a geologist decades ago, talking about petrified wood in this area being nicely agatized. So that's what we're gonna look at. We're gonna look for some nice agatized wood. We came up a little way from the vehicle. I found this piece of agate sitting there. There is some uh, little pieces of agate, a lot of them are white. And we run into some pieces of petrified wood now. So there's one Tim grabbed. You can really see the uh, wood pattern right there. I just picked that up. It looks almost like a carnelian. Let me put it up here. Yeah. All right, we were walking across and here's a claim marker. I'm not sure if it's up to date. I'd have to find the, the one that actually has the paperwork in it. Hopefully we'll come across that. But because I'm seeing this claim right here, and it may be active, we will uh, move further that way and see if we can uh, get out of the claim. <sighs> All right, I just want to make a quick update. First off, I ran into one of my subscribers. He was driving along this road, Brent. Um, he just kind of showed up and we talked to him. He kind of gave us him some of the uh, knowledge he has about this area. That was pretty cool. But unfortunately, as I was walking around, I found out that this entire section is claimed, which is very unfortunate because before I came out, I kind of looked on the BLM website and this section on the website showed no claim. But BLM is known for being pretty lax. So unfortunately, this entire place is claimed. I found where they have the documentation. It's all legitimate, legal. So legally, we cannot collect anything here without permission. So we had to dump everything we had found. We spent almost two hours here, and this is what we're going home with currently. Wah, wah. But that's all right. I talked to Brent, and he told me that going back to where it talks about, you know, looking for stuff in the book, he knows a section where you can find okay wood, at least better than what I've seen in the past. So we're gonna head out that way instead We'll go take a look over there, see if we can find some of that wood. Here we are in a different area. This is looking a lot more promising. So over there where we came in, over way at the edge, there was a claim over there. So we just came past it and there's this whole valley right here. We've looked through it. I don't see any claims anywhere. This looks like a great place to look around and the agate looks, looks much better. It's a red banded agate. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Park down there. Tim took the other side of the hill. And just to kind of show you what we're seeing up here. So you got this black rock that has a little bit of agate in it. Sometimes red, sometimes a brown color. He did see a few pieces of wood that weren't very good quality. That might be some. All right, I'm up on this hill now. And the agates are getting awesome. Look at that. Wow, beautiful red banding all through it. That's gorgeous. That's a keeper. Just looking off toward the, uh, I believe it's the Manti La Salle Mountains. And then you can see down into Arches National Park a little bit. Beautiful view. It looks like we're finding what looks to be some wood. It's not agatized though. Oh, look at that. It almost looks like it's just a bunch of fibrous crystals. Maybe it's just selenite. There's a bunch of selenite over there. You're getting the little barite balls that were replaced by agate. 
So you can see the, the spheres that the barrett kind of made, and then it got replaced by agate. The more I look at these, more I think they might not be wood. Because look at the cross nature of the stuff. It looks more like crystal growth. Yes. I think these are actually crystals growing. That isn't the wood. It looks like wood, but I don't think it is. There is some nice agate around here. Look at that. It's very thin. There's definitely some good looking agate here. Look at these black rocks. They're so shiny. This one's really neat. You can see the crystal terminations of what used to be the barite. Look at that. Oh yeah. So that is one of those barite spheres that's it's only a piece of it, but a big one. Maybe we can find something better around here. Look at that. It looks like a nice agate just sitting there, like a tumbled one. Can you get it out? Oh, let me get the hand. We're gonna go ahead and head out now. We are gonna stop at a riverbed on the way in that I thought looked interesting that I might take a look around in quickly. So I might show you that if we go do that. Um, but so far we looked out here, a lot of good agate. I'm pleased with the agate, especially the red. There's some nice stuff. You did have to search a little bit for it, but I was un unfortunately not able to find really much wood. And what I did find, I don't know if it's wood because there's, there, there's the barite, that can have that weird look, selenite that can look kind of like it. So a lot of fakes out here. I don't know, we'll see. But so far as like kind of what I was wanting to look for, looks like we might've been a little too high. It might be that what we're looking for is maybe below, below the surface at another layer, which is why I'm hoping on the way back as we go lower again, that's why I want to look there and just see, because maybe we were just too high. I filmed it, but realized I was in the wrong setting. <laughs> Look at that big piece I found back there. And Tim also found one kind of like this one, a little smaller, but it looks almost identical. Broken. A little bit more wood, a different color. Not a very good one. Probably won't keep that. Oh. Not the prettiest color, but it's a lot of agate. I know. Wow. Look at that. That looks like a pretty nice piece right there. Let's so get it out. There we go. Nice. Got another piece. Nice. Oh, it's pretty big too. It's nice. I love the red. Right there. I know we were just gonna stop in that one wash on the way back and then get out of here, but we came to the main wash kind of down below the main area where most people look. And Tim's like, let's just stop here really quick and check this wash again. We spent a little bit more time than we were anticipating. Take a look. So these are the ones I came up with. So it's got some nice color there, but really it's these beautiful pieces of wood. And just kind of quickly show them off to you. Found a lot of little pieces too. That was my good one. But unfortunately, Tim just blew me away. Look at that, look at the knot in that one. Ah, nice piece. And then this one, beautiful piece. Again, and this one, this was the killer one, this was the best piece of wood we found today, by far. And then this nice piece of wood too. He just found so many good pieces of wood. And then he found a nice big piece of agate that may or may not have been wood. I'm gonna say no, probably not wood, but nice agate. All right, I'm back from my adventure with Tim when we went down there to Cisco and Yellow Cat to find the beautiful agate, agatized barite and petrified wood. I got it all cleaned off right here. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at some of the nicer pieces. Starting off with a nice piece of 
banded agate that Tim found. Nice. So this, at first glance, looks like some petrified wood, but this is actually agatized barite. As you can see, it kind of makes more of a radiating pattern rather than that of typical wood. Here's another piece of that agatized barite. It's got a little bit of a blue color in it. This was the more colorful piece of agatized barite that Tim found. Yeah, it's got some nice purple in it. Up there, you can find these little nodules or concretions that filled in with agate in the middle. And sometimes the agate in the center is very nice. This is one that Tim found. Here is another piece of that nice agatized barite. Notice that radiating pattern. This is some more of that agatized barite, but instead of being red or that bluish color, blue-white, it's more of a yellow. This is some of the really nice red agate that you can find in the area. It doesn't occur usually very big. This was a nodule that had this little square that filled in with layers of agate, white and kind of colorless alternating agate and a little bit of red. Very nice. Here is a nice large piece of that barite replaced by agate. There's another one that we broke open. Nice red right in the middle. More of that agatized barite. This was my nice piece of agatized barite. Got that nice purple and other colors going through it. Very nice. This is one of the better pieces of petrified wood that I found. In the wash. Another piece of petrified wood that I found in the wash. This is a piece of petrified wood that Tim found in the wash. This is one of the nice pieces of petrified wood that, once again, Tim found. This is a cool piece of petrified wood that Tim found. You've got a branch going through it right there. And I think it's just a couple of branches all laying together. And here is the big piece of petrified wood that Tim found. The largest piece that we found while we were out there. Very nice. And this was the favorite thing that I found. It's the barite, but look, you can see the terminations of the crystals that got replaced by the red agate. Overall, some pretty nice pieces. I like the replaced barite, many different colors, and the petrified wood was pretty good too. It was a great time. Unfortunately, there are a lot of claims down there, so we had to look around quite a bit to find areas where there weren't claim posts and claim markers. So we tried our best to avoid any claims. And if you guys do go down there, remember that there's quite a few claims out there and try to respect the claim owners as much as possible. All right, and don't collect on their claims. I hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, there's treasure everywhere.